MailChimp is an all-in-one marketing platform that allows you to engage in all facets of marketing. This includes email marketing activities so that you can build an email list and then engage with all your contacts via dynamic email campaigns. MailChimp is free to get started with, easy to use and integrates with all your favorite tools for running and growing your business. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this updated MailChimp tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to get started with email marketing so that you can simply build an email list and then create engaging email campaigns to then send to your audience. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into MailChimp, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and get you up and running with email marketing using MailChimp. <music> Okay, so to get started with email marketing inside MailChimp so that we can better engage with our audience, we first need to hop over to our browser and type in MailChimp.com and that's going to take us to the MailChimp website. Then navigate up to login if you already have a MailChimp account or if you don't currently have an account, go ahead and sign up for free. Simply follow the step-by-step -step process of setting up your account, pick a plan, then fill out your business details and answer a few questions and then you'll be taken inside your MailChimp account. And today we're going to get started with MailChimp's completely free plan. This allows us to build an email list, to create landing pages and forms, to collect emails and also engage in email marketing activities. However, if you do want to access premium features like scheduling email campaigns, accessing email automations and other marketing activities as well as A-B testing and more, then you will need to upgrade to a premium plan. Okay, so go ahead and log in or sign up and we'll meet you inside your MailChimp account. And here we are inside our free MailChimp account. Now, if you want a full overview of how to make the most of all the different features inside MailChimp, then what I'll do is add a complete beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that's gonna guide you through all the different features that MailChimp has to offer. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you wanna learn more about all of MailChimp's different marketing activities. Okay, so back inside our MailChimp account. Now the first thing that we want to do is create an email list. We want to build an audience. We can't engage in email marketing activities if we don't have emails and audience to send those emails to. So what we're going to do is navigate over to audience on the left hand side, click here, and then navigate over to add your contacts. And MailChimp's gonna ask how you want to add your contacts. Now, if you have another service where you've built an email list, what you can do is import those emails from another service into MailChimp. You can also upload a CSV file of your contacts, or you can copy and paste from a spreadsheet. So go ahead and choose the option that you wanna to use to add your contacts to MailChimp. Now, if you're completely new to email marketing, maybe you currently do not have an email list, you don't have an audience, or maybe you're just starting a new business so you don't have contacts to add, then that's completely fine. But what we wanna do is at least add one manual contact. To do that, simply navigate up to exit, and then locate all contacts over on the left-hand side. Then click on add contacts, and come down and click on add a subscriber. And down here, all we need to do is manually add our subscribers details, our first contact that we wanna to add to our email list to our audience. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that now. Then once you've manually gone ahead and added your new contacts details, simply head over to subscribe. And then click on overview. And as you can see, we now have an audience of two contacts. The first contact is my contact details, and the second is the subscriber that we manually added just now. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I used dummy information for the contact details. So the contact details is just example information. Now, it's important to mention that for small businesses, it's best practice to just have one audience. And then within your audience, you can better organize each of your contacts with tags and segments. This is going to allow you to create more personalized and targeted messages to your audience. 
by filtering your contacts with tags and segments so that you can send your email campaigns to the right people. So again, you can start creating tags and segments as you start building your audience. Now, you might be wondering, how can you actually build your audience? How can you build your email list and capture more contacts? Well, there are two simple strategies that you can engage in. The first, if we navigate up to create, what you can do is come down and click on landing page and then go ahead and name your landing page. We're going to call this new subscribers. And then down here, we have our audience selected. This is the audience that we want to grow and then come down and click begin. Then here you can choose a landing page template. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this simple landing page. And that's going to take you to this landing page builder. You can see on the left hand side, we have all these different block elements that we can simply click on and then customize the way that we like on the right hand side. For example, we want to change all this content. We want to change the header content, the body content, and we can also add our logo up here if we like. If I navigate down and click on save and close, we can also drag and drop each of these different block elements onto our landing page. So what I'll do is show you an example of a landing page that I created inside MailChimp. As you can see, this is a landing page that we use to build our email list. Typically, what you would do is take the link of your landing page and you would embed that throughout your different social media channels, on your email, and even on your website. So think about all the different marketing channels that you use and basically a potential prospect, a customer, a contact can click on a link and that's going to take them to your landing page where they can add their contact details and that's going to add them to your audience. Okay, so back on our landing page builder, we're not going to talk too much about building landing pages because that's not the focus of today's tutorial. However, if you want to learn more about creating a landing page inside MailChimp, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is navigate down and click on save and close. And as you can see, this is the URL, the link that we can edit if we like. And this is what we would share on all our different marketing channels, platforms, and mediums. Again, you can always navigate back here and customize your landing page before you publish your landing page. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back over to create on the left hand side. And then what you can also do is create a sign up form. And there's two popular options that you can add to your website. You can create an embedded form and then embed that form onto your website or a pop-up form on your website. So this is the second popular method for building your email list. You're creating forms that you then embed as a pop-up or a embedded form onto your website. So when a potential customer, prospect, a contact lands on your website, they will see that form and they can add their details, their contact information to your form. And that's going to add that contact to your audience. Again, this is not the focus for today's tutorial. So if you want to learn more about creating forms inside MailChimp and then adding these onto your website, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of connecting MailChimp with WordPress. Okay, so we've talked about creating an email list, an audience inside MailChimp, and we've talked briefly on how you can build that email list through creating and sharing a landing page, as well as creating pop-up forms and embedded forms for your website. Now what we can do is start engaging in email marketing activities by creating our first email campaign to send it to our audience. To do that, what we're going to do is navigate back. And then let's navigate back to our dashboard by clicking this logo up in the top left hand corner. Now we can either navigate down and click on create or we can click on campaigns and we can navigate over and click on create campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create campaign, then navigate down and click on regular email down here. Then navigate up here and name your email campaign and then come down and click on save. So I'm going to create an email campaign that's going to share tips for growing a business. So my business is Stu's Consulting. I help small businesses transition and grow online. So the types of emails I send to my audience every week are educational emails. Then navigate down to the audience that you want to send this email campaign to. As you can see, we just have our audience selected, which has two contacts. Then navigate down to from and click on edit from. Navigate over to your name and add your name. Then make sure you have the correct email address in here. 
This is the email address that your email recipients will see. Then come down and click on save. Then go ahead and add a subject. And under subject, what we want to do is add a compelling subject line. You want to create interest and excitement with your email recipients so that they open your email. And you can see tips for best practice over on the right hand side. And as you can see, this is my subject, top three growth hacks for small businesses, simple. And you can add emojis if you like. However, I'm happy with my subject line, then navigate down to the preview text. This preview text will be seen after the subject line, so again, you want to make sure that your preview text is compelling. And I'm just going to add, do these now, and then come down and I'm going to click save. Okay, so we've added who we're sending this email campaign to, we've added from, we've added our name and email, and then down here we've added a subject and preview text. Now what we want to do is actually create and design the email campaign itself before sending the email. To do that, simply navigate over to design email. Then we have two options here. We can use the new AI builder or we can choose the classic builder. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and use the classic builder. And here we can choose a template to create our email campaign. If we navigate down, we have featured over here. We can access some of these under the free plan. However, many we do need to upgrade to a paid plan. If we navigate down, we also have access to these basic templates. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and use this column one template. And then again, like I mentioned, when building a landing page, we have all these different content blocks that we can customize the way that we like by simply clicking on each of these different content blocks. And that's going to generate the content over on the right hand side. We can simply go ahead and customize the content. And then we have access to these formatting options up here. If we navigate down and click on save and close, again, we can simply drag and drop each of these different content blocks into our email. For example, let's say I want to embed a video. So what I'm going to do is drag this content block and drop that under this email content. And then what I can do is paste in a YouTube or Vimo video URL in here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste one in that I copied earlier. And then I'm going to come down here and quickly change the text. And then click save and close. Again, I'm going to navigate up to the logo and replace my logo by clicking upload. And then selecting this logo over here. I can make my logo smaller if I like. And I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to navigate over to this text element and then simply change all this content up here. And I'm happy with this header. I'm going to go ahead and make that center aligned. And then I'm going to navigate down here and quickly change this content here. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added dummy text for now. We have tip one, two, and three. Again, we can navigate up to the top. So for example, if I wanted to bold this text, I would just simply do that. I'm going to do that to tip number two and tip three as well. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to come down and click save and close. And then if we navigate down the page, we have these icons down here, these social media icons. And here, all you would do is select your social media channels that you use in your business that you want to promote. For example, Twitter, you would add your Twitter handle down here, the link text, Twitter down here, for example, you'd add your Facebook business page link in here. And if we come down, we would add the link back to our website down here. We can also come down and add another service if we like. I can click here and navigate up to the top. And let's say I wanted to add my LinkedIn profile. Maybe I have a company page or I want to link my personal profile. I can do that here. So go ahead, take the time to add your social media profiles to the footer of your email campaign and then click save and close. Now, what we can also do before we send our email campaign is navigate over to style and we can change the overall style of our email campaign. For example, if we click on body, I can go ahead and change the overall style of the body of my email campaign, the background color, the border top, the body text down here. If we navigate back, I can navigate down to, let's say, header. And again, I can change the style of the header. If we navigate down to footer, and as you can see, all these different options are the same with each of these different elements. So basically, these are the global settings of your email campaign, the overall style of your email campaign. 
However, I'm happy with my email. As you can see, it's simple. It's easy to read from the perspective of the email recipient. They can easily go ahead and click on this video. They have the three tips up here and they can click on my social media channels down here. Again, depending on the nature of your business, you can either add lots of different elements to your email campaign. This is ideal if you're a larger business, if you're an organization and your email recipients know that you're a large organization. However, for those smaller businesses, what you wanna do is create more personalized email campaigns to send to your audience. You wanna make sure that your email campaigns are more minimalistic and less media intensive. Okay, so when you're happy with with your email campaign, you've made all the changes and edits to your campaign, simply navigate up to preview and you can enter preview mode. You can also send a test email. I recommend doing this before you send your email campaign to your audience so you can make sure that your email looks correct on both desktop and mobile. And then we have these other options down here. However, the main thing that you wanna do before you send your email to your audience is to send a test email. This is important. Then what we want to do is go ahead and click on continue. And then before you go ahead and click on send, you want to make sure that all this information is correct. Double check this information before navigating up to send. Now you can also finish this campaign later and save it as a draft before going ahead and clicking send. And that's going to send your email campaign to your audience. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in this MailChimp tutorial for beginners. What I'll do is add all our other complimentary MailChimp video tutorials down below in the description that can help you dive deeper into MailChimp if you're interested. And there we have it guys, that is it for this email marketing tutorial, helping you get started with MailChimp. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.